I'm seeing a whole lot of people on his uh on TikTok. TikTok and some of these other platforms doing all these performing all these different classes, you know, telling you to do a lot of things that hell was had was taught for us to do like long time ago. Like you know, and as you learn, like for instance, authenticating the birth certificate. If you want to authenticate a birth certificate, go ahead. You know, be my guest. But I personally have not seen a good reason to really um, to authenticate your birth certificate. I even got some sent to the Secretary of State. I did. So I, I sent some to him. Uh, last year sometime. I ain't got the shit back yet. But, uh, bottom line is I don't think I need it. The, the birth certificate is already authenticated. It's already, it's already, authentication means the show that it's real. The show that it's a real, it's an authenticated, it's an authentic document. That's why I call it authenticated, to make sure it's authentic. So, you know, that's what it is. That's what authentication is about. You know, you get something to do it on the federal, on the state level. Then you uh, use it on the federal level. I better, I better hold off. I was getting ready to bust that left. But on the, on the federal level, and then it has, you know, United States of America. See, we've been taught these different things about the birth certificate, the certificate of live birth. Um, from these so-called gurus out here. Hell, I was even, you know, saying authenticate your birth certificate. I knew how to do it. I learned how to do it. I've, done, I've authenticated a lot of them, mine and my son's. So I, I've, I've done it, but I've never seen where it's actually helped anybody. So people are telling you, and having these classes where they're teaching somebody. I even saw somebody, they were teaching like $3,000. Ooh, what? Damn, damn son, got them blocking on a nigga. But uh, hold on, let me change this up. Okay. <laughs> but, um, I've, I've seen like what people they're doing classes or they're you know they're, they're saying they'll authenticate your birth certificate for you and they're charging thousands of dollars to do the shit a lot of these it don't even cost that much it don't cost one thousand to do it like you do it yourself it don't even cost that kind of money I, I say that I bring, I bring it up to say this here we gotta start really looking into a lot of the different processes that people are teaching people to do See if they align with some of the laws and, you know, some, some actual legal material, some actually credible material that's teaching you that says to do these things, you know? Like, they'll teach you not to even read the damn statutes in, the, in your state. Every state has their, every state has their own, I'm going to park real quick because I don't like this damn glare I got going on right here. Hold on a second. Okay, this is much better. But, um... There's so many different processes out there. People out here really just kind of fleecing the shit out of a lot of y'all. Because y'all out here paying for these classes and paying for consultations. And y'all, you know, what they calling, what they paying, what you paying them a gift. <laughs> it's nothing. They won't call it a payment or just, you know, a fee or compensation or whatever. They, you know, call it a gift. <laughs> um which is not even what it is in the first place because you're giving them money in exchange for a service. But it's not a guaranteed service. Y'all gotta start looking up stuff. Like, you know, I just learn if you just talking about like back to authentication. It's a real document. That's why you can get it, you can take it to the secretary of state. If you got an affidavit, say you whatever city or state, whatever city and whatever state you're in, if you have an affidavit, you can go and have it and you can have it authenticated. Based on the thing you're doing is authenticating the notary. You're proving what they're doing. They're showing that the notary that, you know, that signed off on that document is one of their notaries. Keep in mind, every notary from every county, keep in mind the, the secretary of state is like the, the ultimate, the main notary um, of every state, of their of that particular state. Um, like take the secretary of state in Georgia. You got all these different counties in Georgia, you know. Coweta County, Mayweather County, Muskogee County. Each one of those counties have their different, uh, low, you know, the county clerk's offices where the people going swear in to become a notary. But nowadays, you know, anybody can go and order a notary stamp. You can order one at Home Office Depot and just create your stamp. 
a notary stamp. So say if I'm masquerading as a notary and I got my own stamp made now here's somebody and charged me, I done charged somebody X amount of dollars to notarize a document in order to prove that it's, a, it's been notarized properly, they can go to the county where I'm where that stamp says that I was uh, commissioned, and they can actually prove right. You know, and they'll look in their records and see if I'm in on their list, you know, as one of their notaries. And am I, am I up to date? Am I up to date if I am? Because you know the know the, the commission stamp, the stamp actually has their commission date, like when they expire as well. So. If you see them on there, they can look it up. They can they, they attach a document to your document, to your affidavit or whatever it is you that they notarize. They'll attach the document confirming that this is a, one of our notaries. Okay, this is one of our notaries. And then from that point, you can go to the Secretary of State and have it authenticated as well. Have that, have it authenticated as well. Now, for whatever reason, people are telling you, you know, now... It's, it's a, uh, it makes it equivalent to the original. I, I've said that for years too, but um, I haven't seen anything to confirm that. You know, I do know if you get something out of uh, the county recorder's office, say you get um, uh, something from a court case or transcript from a court case or anything, a deed or anything, you can uh, any record from the county recorder's office, you can get them to authenticate it. Well, you get them to certify it. So they don't authenticate it. Use the word certified. Basically to make it, uh, to prove that this is a copy, a true and correct copy of the original. Then that's what makes it admissible evidence in a court case. You know, you could prove your, prove what it is you're trying to say if you got an authenticated, you know, if it's authentic or just say it's um, certified. But back to you, if you're talking about an authenticated birth certificate, you really using it for you getting it done for another country. Say if you're going to another country, and see, I think what well, thing is they use every every fifty state is like their own country, um, and or they're basically like a United States of America being a totally different country from the United States corporation, and they try to use that. You know what I'm saying? They use that to try to make it like you know well, now it's foreign. You bring it outside the jurisdiction of the United States corporation and nobody ever we never saw anything any credible material that taught us that we heard somebody say it and it kind of spread like wildfire and took on a life of its own everybody's starting to say these things but we don't look at look these things up to find out where do we get these things from where do we get this 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 understanding you know when you you just you just can't just regurgitate stuff and never actually look the stuff up and the more you learn, the more you start to re revisit stuff like that. Authenticating a birth certificate, you know, you, you don't need to authenticate a birth certificate. It's already authenticated. If you go to another country with their authenticated birth certificate, always uh, authenticated on the federal level, now you can use that in another country. Say you go to, you know, J Japan or whatever, you go to another country somewhere, you can use that to prove where you're from, who you are and where you're from. You know, you can just use it. It's accepted as ID. Even though we that's another topic, we know the birth certificate is not supposed to be used as ID, but that's another topic. You can go look at my other video for that. But you're using it to prove where you're from, okay? And so that's what that's for. That's what that's for. That's why they ask you what country, for what country. We're thinking, okay, we choose a, a non-Hague country. They're going to go ahead and authenticate it and then all this old different stuff. And... And we're thinking we could use it. I don't know. It's, it's other ways you probably can use it. But for us, for what we were taught that we could use it for, you know, if you, you know, you're taking ownership of the property. We never saw that. We never saw that. We never saw that. Got to look into this stuff. I'm willing, I'm willing to have some discussion about this because we it's a lot of stuff we were taught about. The authenticating the birth certificate is is just not I've never seen it true. I've never seen it work like that. You know, um. So if y'all got any any kind of the information y'all want to share with me about this, you know, I don't mind being corrected. I'm a student of this thing too, but all I know for a fact, me authenticating a birth certificate never stopped me from getting a citation, never stopped me from getting a charge brought on me. It never stopped me. It never it never it never changed the status, you know, changed the, the status of the straw man. It just doesn't. You know, so um I've never seen any proof of of that happening because I've done it already. So 
Y'all got something y'all want to share with me? <laughs> Feel free. Let me know some, y'all. I'm, I'm a student to the thing too, you know. So let, let's let's do some uh, iron sharpening iron. I don't have a problem with you know uh, being corrected about some stuff, but I've never seen authenticating a birth certificate on the federal level change your status from a U.S. When we say when it's your status, we talking about the status of the straw man. Change your status from a U.S. citizen to a national or whatever people want to claim. That alone does not change your status. Anyway, <laughs> I'm out of here. Don't forget to like and share, okay? Don't forget to like and share, peeps. And uh, I do appreciate that. And I'll see y'all on the next video, all right? Emrose, signing out.